And now, it's story time with your host, Carl Childers. Mm. Mr. Bill Cox, he got me watching this channel called Me TV. It's got all them shows on it I missed when I was younger. On account of we was either too poor to have a TV, or I was up there in the nervous hospital. They wouldn't let us watch much TV in the nervous hospital there. One day, this old boy, he was watching Green Acres, decided to climb a telephone pole called Hooterville, <laughs> fell down, broke his neck, Ooh. killed him. Ooh. It all turned out okay, though. I got his room. <laughs> I've been watching something that reminds me a good bit of the folks here at the big show. It's called Gilligan's Island. I can tell you about it if you want me to. Yeah, I'm in. If not, I got some invasion of Poland jokes that Big Fella give me. <laughs> no, let's go with Gilligan's Island. All right, then. Well, Sir Gilligan's Island, about these folks that went out there on a boat for a three-hour tour in the ocean. They got caught in a storm there, washed up on that little bitty island they can't seem to get off of. They try to escape on every show, but they get washed right back to it. It's like here. Every day, John Boy tries to escape back to the farm and winds up getting washed right back here again. I reckon the seven or eight weeks of vacation are like commercials. <laughs> the fellow that run the boat there was named a skipper. I reckon he's a good bit like John Boy, regular old salt. He's a feller who kindly runs a show there on the island. Big, friendly, waves his arms around a good bit when he talks. Looks like he's eating a plate or two of biscuits and mustard. <laughs> Always got a dadgum hat on his head. And says dupe when you poke him in the belly. <laughs> and best of all, he got him a little buddy. Skipper's little buddy Gilligan. John Boyd's little buddy is little feller. Some folks calls him Billy, I calls him little feller. They're a lot alike, seems to me. They both good natured get blamed for a lot of stuff ain't their fault. <laughs> Stuck in the middle of a parcel of knuckleheads. Both of them always saying something funny or other. Difference is, little feller means to say something funny. Gilligan just ain't too smart. He a good bit clumsy too. Mr. Bill Cox said if his brain cells wanted to play a game, it'd have to be solitaire. I didn't understand that part of it. They had a movie star on the island there, Miss Ginger. <laughs> She's a pretty rascal. A whole lot prettier than that big girl down at the dollar store. We ain't got no actors on the big show. Listen to the playhouse, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but they sure enough got a star, Miss Jackie. She's a lot like Ginger. Smoldering good looks. Way with men folk. Fake bosoms. <laughs> Some folks call them boobies. I call them bosoms. Got a few miles on her. Mr. Bill Cox says more miles than a retired Greyhound bus. I can't tell if that's good or bad. I like riding the bus. <laughs> Every group of folks got a smart one in the bunch. On Gilligan's Island, the professor was that feller. Here at the big show, we got Mr. Randy. He's a lot like a professor. Right smart, good with gizmos and whatnot. Snappy dresser, kind of funny. Not funny ha-ha, funny queer. The professor can make a radio out of a seashell and a coconut. Mr. Bill Cox says Randy makes chicken salad out of chicken squat every day. I like chicken salad. Mary Ann was the island's pretty low farm girl, no bigger than a squirrel. The big show's got, got Miss Marcy. She's bigger than a squirrel for sure. <laughs> Mr. Bill Cox said it looks like she's carrying two sackfuls of squirrels under her sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Ann and Miss Marcy are a good bit alike. They're both sweeter than stick candy, wholesome and all-American. Don't know how attractive they are, but everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way she talks. <laughs> then there's Mr. and Mrs. Howell there. They're married folks. Richard and old King Midas himself. They a good bit older than the rest of the folks on the island there. They dress nice. Got good manners. 
fancy friends they like to mention in the middle of a conversation. Don't much care for common folk. Seems to me around here, that'd be old Maurice and hey. Mr. Rayford. <laughs> which one's Mr. and which one's Mrs.? <laughs> I guess they can draw straws to come down to it. <laughs> I like the show a good bit. I don't understand all of it, but nobody cusses. Nobody gets blowed up or shot every week. But if they was doing that show today, I reckon it'd be a mite different. But the way Gilligan Plum messes up every chance they got to get rescued, they wouldn't be too fur into it before someone'd be hollering, What'd you kill Gilligan fur? What'd you kill Gilligan fur? The end. Storytime is brought to you by Hargrave's Potted Meat Product. Chock full of peckers and lips since 1937. Will you wear this hat for me? No. no.